It's been quite surreal. I remember the first kind of training session. It's been quite nice though, because no one's made like a really big deal out of it. So it's kind of let me keep my emotions in check. Because, you know, when I first kind of realized I was going to be back, I was like, oh, am I going to get a bit emotional about this? But um, no, I mean, it's been really nice. It's been so refreshing to be back in with the team. I found a new energy from somewhere just because I'm just so excited to, to be out there and doing what I love to do and being with the girls. But yeah, it's, it's been a long journey and it's one that I've definitely learned a lot from um, as a person, more, more than a player, more as a person. And yeah, it's, it's been really exciting and I've been feeling really, really good. So hopefully I can take that into the season. Yeah, I think it's had a huge effect actually. And I think for us in a way, it was a positive thing because our league got cancelled, not in the way that it did. I don't think that was positive, but I mean, in terms of people could actually have a break. Yeah. and know that they're not missing out on anything. Whereas obviously in the men's game, they still had to train at that level because their season was going to carry on. But for us, we knew quite, not early on, but early-ish that the season wasn't going to go ahead. So it gave the girls a good, you know, solid couple of weeks just to rest, recover, and then start doing training as you want. Yeah. And there's nothing that, that, that refreshes you as well. Like, you know, not having to go into the training ground every day or just being able to do training on your own accord. Yeah. Um, it's sometimes a positive thing, but I think overall it's been positive. And from what I can see at the training ground, everyone seems a lot more refreshed and, and ready to go and, and ready to be there. So it's nice for me to come back into that environment. They, I mean, they've been my rock since November, if I'm honest. You know, obviously I was kind of sofa ridden for a couple of months and I was getting to the stage where I kind of needed some other dialogue. You know, dogs obviously can't talk back to you. So I was kind of starting to lose my head a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's great. You know, they're just, no matter what kind of attitude you have or how you're feeling, they're always like, it's always a party when you come home. <laughs> or, you know, it's always exciting when you walk through the door when you've just been in another room for a few minutes. Um, so yeah, it definitely helped a lot and it just keeps you sane. Just, you know, and you have a reason to get out, yeah. even if it is for an hour. I think it's showing the strength of this league and we want to be playing with and against the best players in the world. So for us, it, it's exciting. Obviously, we've made some good signings as well who have really shown their talents in training. So it's nice for us as well to see that because then we know that other players elsewhere are doing the same. You know, they're stepping up the standard in their own training environment. They're stepping up the standard in terms of what they do on the pitch. And, and that's what we want to do. We want to grow this league and we want to make it super competitive as it already is you know we we know no game is easy and these these more players are coming in from all different parts of the world it only brings the excitement to the WSL and hopefully it will bring more interest in terms of media in terms of fan bases um, and which is what we want to do we want to help build the sport in this country and obviously with the coronavirus it's kind of gone under the carpet a little bit not much people are talking about it so hopefully we can get this buzz going again around women's football and, and around women's sport in general when i when i read obviously that they donated it to charity i sent it to emma straight away and i was like this is absolutely amazing you know it's, it's something that we always want to be a part of obviously myself i've i've done a lot of work for charities i've done a lot of work for kind of you know, promoting certain things that I feel really passionate about. So for clubs to get involved in it now, it's, it's really special. And for me, it makes me so proud to play for Chelsea when you see the amazing work that they're doing and that they're, they're promoting certain things. They're pushing for standards in terms of women's sport, women's football. Um, and it's something that we want to continue to grow as a club and continue to push to make sure that these things kind of happen. And it, yeah, I, when I read about the donating the money thing, that was yeah, that, that gave me goosebumps. It was amazing. And it's something that hopefully, you know, we can continue to do as a club, keep pushing for, for them standards and keep pushing, you know, to help charities and help, help people around us.